Marissa, thank you. New information tonight on a story we've been following closely. Police say the body of a 17-year-old that was kidnapped last week has been found. He was taken at gunpoint from his home in the West Valley. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us live with the update tonight. Stephanie. Brian and Christina, good evening. Such a sad ending to this story. We're back out in the neighborhood where Jesse Camacho was taken from. His house was just at the end of this cul-de-sac here. Now, police tell us his body was found in a remote part of Maricopa County. They didn't go into any details as they are still investigating. For now, they say the suspects are still on the run. On Monday the 26th, we uh, were notified by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office that there was a body located in a rural area in Maricopa County uh, that has been identified as Jesse uh, Camacho. As the search for 17-year-old Jesse Camacho comes to a tragic end, the search for the suspects is only just beginning. This is something, obviously, it hurts our community. Um, we want to make sure we get these individuals off the street. Uh, we, we don't want there to be any more violence with this. So, again, we're, we're, we are looking for you. We're going to identify you and hold you accountable. On December 19th, at a home near 87th Avenue and West Indian School Road in Maryvale, two suspects forced their way into Camacho's home with guns, kidnapped him, and fled in a dark-colored car. Before leaving, they shot Camacho's grandfather, who was expected to survive his injuries. That was actually the grandfather of our, our victim, Jesse. Uh, so Jesse was actually the intended target in, in that home invasion, uh, and he was just unfortunately the grandfather was uh, injured. However, he is expected to survive his injuries. For now, we are waiting for the official cause of death from the medical examiner's office. Of course, those suspects, again, are still on the run. If anybody has any information, you're asked to contact Phoenix Police or Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Reporting live tonight, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.